Hello everyone and welcome to my how-to video on how to do uh, lightsaber effects. This isn't really a tutorial, it's more of a, an explanation of how I do it as a special effects compositor. Um, it's not my full-time job, it's just a hobby, but you know, um, I decided to use the best uh, software out there. So I use an industrial program called Autodesk Combustion, and a lot of people haven't heard of it because it's not, uh, it's not really a, a mainstream type program like Adobe After Effects would be. Uh, Adobe After Effects is um, aimed at um, individual use. Um, it's aimed at small television companies, but I use this industrial program um, because it's uh, extremely high quality work. And uh, I'm not saying After Effects isn't, but uh, I just prefer to use the um, higher end programs that are used by professional uh, special effects companies. So. Um, I'm going to show you how I make uh, the lightsabers work. Um, so first, I got to do here is select the footage that I want to edit the lightsaber for, so you guys can see how it works. Um, so first off, let me go ahead and uh, go through here, scrub through, and find the good footage of a working lightsaber. And I'll turn on, I'll turn off the effects here, so we can actually see what's going on. Put this on best quality so we, it doesn't look like one big pixel. Um, yeah, so I think we'll just do from this point to the end here. So I'll let that render really quick. All right, that's it. I'll move this slider over here. All right, so it's going to be a really small portion of footage, and the reason is it's time consuming the work that goes into this so I'm gonna go to mask draw mask and put it on animate and I'm gonna go through and draw the mask over the lightsaber like so and uh, I'm going to uh, go to the next frame so here's our next frame here and draw this uh, mask and you're probably wondering how do you manage with all the uh, hardly being able to see and you just pull the mask around until you see where the blade is and uh, move on to the next frame and I'll just do a few of these okay So probably just two more frames and then I'll move on to the effect. Okay. And this last one. Okay. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to turn off animate and when I put it forward you can see that the... Uh, I'll play back, play forward. You see that the mask moves with the footage. Um, so that's exactly what we need. <laughs> it's an incredible amount of work. It takes a lot of time. So our next step is going to be operators. I'm going to do color correction and a histogram. And uh, what we want to do is, um, is create a white background. And so this is going to go behind the mask here. That way we can uh, adjust these levels, get a pure white lightsaber. All right, that's perfect. And now we're going to go to show and viewport. And now you can see the lightsaber on top there. Um, so now we can go ahead and start doing our effects. So I'm going to do a Gaussian blur for the blue lightsaber, increase the radius a little bit. And uh, we don't want it to be too high. Probably right about there is good. Um, there are little tricks. If I put it about there, I can throw on top of it a histogram. That will allow me to just kind of squash these values together. Okay, Gaussian blur. That'll do for now. Um, all right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the lightsaber layer here and this is going to become 
a secondary glow. So we're going to put on a large glow there. And operator's color correction, we're going to do um, balance here. And I'm going to bring down the red, bring down the green. We have a nice blue there. That's pretty cool looking. Um, but you're not going to notice that the inside isn't white. It's supposed to be white. So what we have to do is select our layer here and put it on screen so that it passes through. All right, now we're going to duplicate this. Get another one here. Go operators, blur, Gaussian blur. Do more of a blur there. Okay. And uh, we're going to do another color correction. Balance, bring up the blue, bring down these red and the green. So there you have it. There's um, a rough lightsaber. So then we're going to take all these blue lightsaber ones and we're going to go operators. Uh, actually, we're just going to nest them for now. And we're going to call it blue lightsaber okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw on top of it a histogram and from here we can control how the lightsaber shows up um, how heavily the effect it, okay so basically let me try to explain this when you put on a histogram you control the in and outs of the footage so you can make the edges here more round you can you can reduce the amount of feathering so you get like a crisp blade or you can uh, get more of a fanned out less colorful blade but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it to where you get kind of a crisp edge and then I'm gonna go to this and put it on screen and then you get the same kind of effect that you get with the green lightsaber except it's a little bit dark so I'll just duplicate the lightsaber itself and it brightens it up a lot more and um, so we can go ahead and scrub through those and you can see that there's an effect kind of a sloppy effect but that's basically how it's done um, so yeah that is how I do my effects um, it's not how everybody does it but it's how I do it and so Sins of the Sith will be coming out hopefully sometime early next year and it's going to be using a lot of these techniques for the special effects. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And uh, uh, please subscribe to my channel and comment and rate. And uh, thank you for watching.